Uh, hey guys, Brian Erickson here. I don't know if you can hear me because it's kind of loud out here right now, but um, and I'm just using an on-camera microphone. But you guys um, were requesting a, well, actually a good a good guy here on YouTube, Trigger Finger Films, requested a tutorial of how to do an effect from Abe Kislevitz, I think is how you pronounce it, or also a GoPro video if you guys have seen um, Ken Block's Russian tree run thing. I'm not sure what it was. Uh, links to him right here if you want to see him real quick to see the real effect. Over here. Maybe here. I don't know where you can see. But anyway, so I'm going to put my body on the line here with a little trick that I haven't really done before. And um, we got two cameras rolling. We got my GoPro down here. And then we got my Canon T2i both rolling at 720 at 60 frames per second. And uh, hopefully, we can make something cool visually out of this effect. Let's see what happens. That's how it's done, I guess. Yay. Alright, so before I get to what I wanted to show you guys, I wanted to just to promote my Facebook page here real quick. Uh, Brian Erickson Videography. If you guys want to like on there, uh, the URL is facebook.com slash Brian Erickson Videography. Um, it should be a good place for you guys to talk with me, and I should be able to respond a lot quicker than in the YouTube comments. And also, this is where I'm hoping that you guys will give me more suggestions for effects to try and explain to you guys. Um, but then I'll also be posting cool articles that I find along the way as I'm doing everything. So just go like this Facebook page. Uh, link is in the description. So um, I this is fairly simple actually. Uh, when you think about it, it was difficult at the beginning to really come up with the idea on how to do this. But once you do it once, like it follows the same principle every time. And so um, nothing extremely difficult. But there are a couple things that you need to figure out when you're doing with this. Um, first of all, you're going to start off with, uh, you got your clip here, like this is your basic clip. So what you need to do second is, or first, is you got to take this and find a spot where there's nothing in the frame. And then place your cursor right there. And then you need to create a freeze frame of this. So you could do like freeze frame here or whatever, but I'm just going to do it this way because I like this. Go over here to click save current frame. If you do not have save current frame there, click on add destination and then click on save current frame and pull it over or you just pull it over into here. Um, but um, click on that save current frame. I just like to save it outside there so I can save it as something. Um, save it as whatever sort of file you want. I don't care. Um, save it and... Um, it'll be saved wherever you want it to save so then I already took it so I'm gonna grab it from here so I already have my background photo right here so I'm gonna grab it and throw it in here then I've got my footage I'm gonna extend this here a little bit longer now the reason that I do this background photo is when you have to do some masking around your character who's like in this occasion me who's doing the little spinny flippy thing you need to be able to um, stop like the movement in the background. Um, you might, if you look closely at the GoPro video, um, it will. Uh, you'll see that the trees and stuff in the background aren't moving; only the car and the smoke behind it, or whatever. So um, this is it's a really simple effect as you go along. So we'll just take it here, and uh, first thing you're going to have to download though is you're going to go to alex4d.wordpress.com. Um, it's right here. Um, I'll put a link in the description so that you guys can see this. Uh, you're gonna need this four, sixteen or four eight or sixteen point mask, whatever he has. Um, this is essential. You can't really use the mask that is built into Final Cut Pro X. It's annoying, I know, but it's just what you got to do. So we're gonna put, um, and then once you get it, uh, well, just follow the instructions on how to install it. It's not a hard thing to do at all. Then I'm going to go down here to Alex4D, grab his mask plus four, drop it down on there. Now the cool thing about his mask is that it can um, 
you can keyframe it inside um, Final Cut Pro and that's very very necessary to be able to do what you need to do so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this here start at the very beginning of the clip grab the mask right there and you're gonna see that I'm gonna come in from that corner over there so there I am so you gotta create the mask big enough Oops. Here, first gonna expand and I'm gonna pull in well here let's do this click V to disable the clip underneath um, so that you can see what the mask is trying to do so we're gonna take the mask and I'm gonna bring in the edges a little bit because I don't want the feather to be quite so large um, even though I'm gonna want it to be large but um, if that makes sense I don't know anyway so you got my me coming in here and now the key for this is to try and mask as close as you can around the subject but still watching for the um, the change or the shadow the shadow was one of the things that caught me the most was the, my shadow on the grass even though it wasn't very bright out during this filming um, there was still shadow on the grass and so I'm gonna take this here and I'm gonna increase the feather though to about one 180 sure feather like crazy so here's the beginning guy right here so we got him we got me well I keep saying it like so some other guy um, and I'm gonna change the position as I go along so I'm gonna add my keyframe right here because this is where I want it to start basically uh, yeah no I'll bring this in a little bit because it's a little bit longer than I need it to be so we're gonna come and it's here and then we're gonna animate the mask by keyframing to follow me as I go into my little roll and again this is a very basic way of doing this if you want to do this with actual masking so that you can uh, create a better effect go for it um, I just want to give you the idea on how to do it and then um, after you get the idea then you can run with it and do it your own way so and I'm gone so I'll shorten up the clip here alright awesome so now if we take a look at it we'll be able to see as we scrub through me just doing my little, little flippy thing here and luckily because we feathered the mask so much I don't, I'm not seeing anything uh, any lines anywhere uh, indicating the edge of the mask which is good um, so all you have to do now is once it does a quick little render here you take it and duplicate the footage or copy and paste as this would be so copy um, paste 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 sure so then we'll take this and offset them by a little bit just placing them on top of each other and offsetting and right off the bat, oh, you see that right there? The mask of the other one cut it off, so that means I need to make it a little bit further apart. So that'll get me a clean mask, I think, now. And so there it is. Um, it's really really simple to do this way but the, the thing is is when you want to get a little bit more complicated with it uh, to get more complicated with it you might need to mask a little bit closer so then you can have them like stacked right up next to each other because obviously you can't get these clones to be any closer or else the mask will be cutting each other off so just do as you wish and also if you think about it in the Abe Kislevitz video they probably just keyed out the sky behind um, Abe or whoever it was that was doing the rail um, and then just by keying it he was able to throw in his um, the person going multiple times and really really close to each other I tried keying it on this one but unfortunately the dandelions um, sat in front of the uh, uh, in front of my clones behind me or in front of me or whatever and so it um, it didn't allow it to work so um, but it can work if you have a nice really green surface um, it'll work so anyway that's the basic effect um, nothing too difficult uh, make sure to like me on my new Facebook page and send me requests for new effects if you would like those too um, 
if you'd like them to be explained to me, make sure you send a link also of the video that you would like it to be done. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, send me an email at thebodacity at me.com. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.